played for your audience and draft them back in on top of your mix, or just have a library of beats and other sound effects ready to go to use at any time. Now, I've been driving this thing so far just using uh, MIDI controllers and uh, the mouse, but we can also use time code, control records, and CDs. I've got record up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and engage the time code control within the preference. Now I can actually drop the needle on a record and control it from vinyl. And of course, moving the needle to a different location causes the song to seek ahead, just like a real record, or back towards the beginning. And right now we are using something called absolute mode, meaning that everywhere I put the needle re represents an absolute location in the music. So if I were to scratch and cause the needle to skip, I end up being in a different location on the song. To prevent that, this option right here switches us into relative mode. So now, it doesn't matter where I put the record, all I'm doing is controlling playback speed. So if I scratch and the needle skips, I don't lose the sound I'm scratching. So this is really good news for those hip hop guys who just scratch like crazy, especially if it's on a, in a dance club with a really shaky floor or something like that that causes a lot of needle skips, they'll never lose the sounds they're working on. And also for those guys, we'll put on another record here. We've got something called Quick Scratch, which basically allows you to take any sample that's loaded in the sampler and immediately replace what you're playing on a deck with that sample. So for example, I hit QS1 and I end up getting the infamous aw sound, which we've all heard before. I would scratch if I could, but I can't, but I'm sure someone out there can already tell how good this will be to use because if I hit Quick Scratch 2, I can change to another sound. And as you can see, it continues to loop the sample over and over again. So if you have one particular sound that you like to use, you can just let the record go and you'll stay on that sample. You don't have to keep back cueing and trying to find your sample again. And as soon as you turn off Quick Scratch, you're back into music control here. Okay, and the one last feature here to show you all is a special time code control mode called Amputate. Now when this is active, like Amputate says, you're chopping something off. In this case, I'm going to chop off one of the turntables. Using Amputate mode, I can go out and DJ using just one CD deck or one turntable for control. And I do this simply by clicking vinyl on a deck, and then it becomes under vinyl control. So I'm controlling the left side, which you can't hear right now, but now you can, right? While the right side continues to freewheel, but if I click vinyl on the right side, now it's under vinyl control, okay, same deck. So what ends up happening is, while you've got one song playing on the left, the one you just mixed in, you can use vinyl to cue up the next song. And as you notice, mom, no headphones, I made the visual is so tight on this program that I'm actually able to beat match without having to listen first. So this is good news for all the DJs who have got pricks in their necks from having to do this so often. Don't have to do it anymore. Just look at the screen and you can see when a track gets ahead or when it falls behind and then just put it back into sync again. One other nice feature about using amputate mode is that you can use auto-synchronization in this mode. If I pull up a song that is not at the same tempo, like, uh, 